Welcome to my Halloween month, where you will see the scariest villains turn into customs. Viewers beware, you're in for a scare. <laughs> Not gonna lie, when I was a kid, I used to be scared of Gruntilda. Every time when she came on screen, I used to mute the TV. <laughs> to me, she's an iconic villain. I used to love all these cartoony villains from the 64 era. I wanted to make a Gruntilda to go with my capital B, or vice versa. I can just imagine these two villains arguing with each other. <laughs> So what can I say about Gruntilda? She's mean, she's evil, she's a total witch. So when I was thinking of doing a Gruntilda, I actually thought it would be cool to make a capital B uh, to go along with Gruntilda. Uh, which by the way I made a custom action figure a capital B in case you haven't seen that video go ahead and check it out it's up on my channel uh, but I just wanted to make both of these villains because uh, like as I already mentioned I feel like they all baker a lot with each other and like they just seem so menacing and dumb at the same time which is kind of surprising to pull off but but yeah I, I just wanted to make both of these uh, villains if you saw my capital B video you're actually gonna be surprised that I actually use the same base to make Gruntilda. Uh, I use this character from Flushed Away. Uh, so I bought two of these figures on eBay for I can make, of course, Gruntilda and Capital B. As I already mentioned in my last video, when I saw this base, I knew right away that this would make a great body for Capital B and Gruntilda. So with that said, let's have a closer look at Gruntilda. All right, so here's my Gruntilda figure. And comparing to uh, Capital B, she was a lot easier to make. So pretty much what I sculpted on Gruntilda was the hat, the hair, the head scope, the scarf, the little part of the dress down here, and her shoes. And what I removed from the original base, I removed the tie, the collar, the buttons, uh, oh yeah, and the face, uh, and, the, and the shoes. And I'm glad that I used the same base to make these figures, uh, that way they can be in scale with each other, because I always picture them to be uh, somewhat in the same scale. This customs might not be perfect, but I'm really proud of them because uh, I turned this flushed away character into these two knuckleheads. And to me, that's really cool because uh, if I wouldn't show you the picture of this character from flushed away, uh, you wouldn't have guessed what characters I used to make these guys. And I have a banjo figure around my collection, but I can't find him for some reason. Uh, so I'm just going to have to compare it to a Mario figure like I always do. Uh, but, banjo, but, but my banjo figure is around the same scale as Mario, so... Uh, I guess you can kind of get an idea uh, how big would Banjo will be next to uh, Gruntolda. Alright, so now I'm going to cut to a few pictures. Alright, so I put my Gruntilda with the rest of my custom action figures. But anyways guys, thank you for watching, I really appreciate that. And if you like this video, please leave a like, it will really help me a lot. Uh, and stay tuned because next week I'm going to be uploading another video of my Halloween custom. And also follow me on my other social media. And again guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.